Lance's Frenchie pattern's okay, but when you throw some CDC on it, it takes it to a whole new planet. Fly, fish, food. Okay, this is kind of a CDC Frenchie variation. Um, so what we have is a fulling mill, jig hook, four mil bead. We want to really get down with this one. And I'm going to just kind of push the bead up to where it's supposed to be and take my thread and start wrapping until that bead doesn't wiggle anymore. Just like that. So I'm going to tie in just a, a done colored Coq de Leon. You could use the speckled Coq de Leon, whatever you want on this one. You want the tail to be roughly the length of the body. And for the pheasant tail body, instead of ribbing it with wire, I'm just going to rib it with monofilament and leave it pretty natural. So I've got this muskrat gray dyed uh, pheasant tail. It looks almost black, but it, it's just a super dark gray. And I'll take the tips and just trim the tips off so that I have a nice flush tie-in point for those. Just three or four fibers will do the trick. And before I lay those down, I'm going to take some super glue and just saturate the body that I just created. Okay, you live and you learn. Put in more than three fibers. I just broke one of the fibers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get those started and then use the rotary feature on my vise to wrap those forward. And as you can see, we just film on a Renzetti Traveler vise. I've got a master at home. This thing does everything you need it to and more. All right. So I'm just going to take like 5X monofilament, counter wrap that all the way up the body. And catch that in place. And I'm going to put a CDC soft tackle on this. Now a lot of people use a split thread technique. One reason why I like the dubbing loop is because if you get too much material in your split thread technique, you can't just trim it out you have to wrap the whole thing on your on your fly so and I really don't have a lot of build up on it so anyway but you can use a split thread technique if you want I'm not going to um, but I got to show off this fancy tool right here the Swiss CDC let's see if we can get a, a Swiss CDC what do they call this the multi clamp and it's you know similar to some of the other clamps out there but this little point on the end makes it really easy to get your dubbing loops or whatever you have clamped up into a small dubbing loop. Um, and it's also great for other things like deer hair and stuff. So anyway, we're going to use CDC with this. As you can see, I, I have a piece of CDC that's not like super prime, and I don't want a really full CDC collar on this. But you can see I have a few fibers that are a little bit long down here. So before I even get started, I'm going to take those and kind of break those to the length that I want. So once I have those where I want, I'm just going to stick those in this clamp like this. And trim them off. So I've got my CDC in the loop. Now, you want to make a loop that's just barely big enough for the CDC clamp to fit in when, when you're just using this much of it. You know, about a third of the clamp has material in it. If I have a full clamp full of material, I might go, you know, an inch or two beneath the clamp, but this is plenty big for this. And then to wrap the, to wrap this, or to spin up the loop, I just use my good old loon gator grip tool. So I like to just put the whole clamp into the loop and then I place my finger on the clamp as I push it out 
and the thread will just kind of snap down on the CDC exactly where I want it. And then we twist it up. So check the link below for a video where we show you kind of some of the techniques that you can use for this multi-clamp. So once I have it here, I'm just going to use my rotary tool to wrap most of that CDC on. Tie it off and you can see I didn't use all the CDC. I got plenty of collar without using it all so I can just trim that off. I'm going to pull those back and now I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of hot spot with whatever number 98 hen specter dub is. It's very similar to the, the shrimp pink. But it's a re really fluorescent color. Adds a nice hot spot. So just a little tiny bit of dubbing on that. So get a collar going. Just a little hot spot of red. And we'll throw down a whip finish. Boom, that's it.